you'll be going and not be voting. We now come, we now come to the SNP motion on Gaza. I understand that the second motion on the order paper will not be moved today. This is a highly sensitive subject on which feelings are running high in the House, in the nation and throughout the world. I think it is important on this occasion that the House is able to consider the widest possible range of options. I have therefore decided to select the amendments both in the name of the Prime Minister and in the name of the Leader of the Opposition. Because the operation of standing order number 31 will prevent another amendment from being moved after the Government has moved its amendment, I will exceptionally call the Opposition front bench spokesperson to move their amendment at the beginning of the debate. Once, once the SNP spokesperson has moved their motion, at the end of the debate, the House will have an opportunity to take a decision on the official Opposition amendment. If that is agreed, if that is agreed to, there is a final question on the main motion as amended. If the official opposition amendment is not agreed to, I will call the Minister to move the Government amendment formally. That will engage the order. I'm going to fin that will engage the provisions of standing order number thirty one. So the next vote will be on the original words in the SNP motion. If that is not agreed to, shh, then the House will have the opportunity to vote on the Government Amendment. Proceeding this way will allow a vote to take place potentially on all proposals from each of the three main parties. I can inform the House – just let me finish – I can inform the House that this there is a precedent for an official opposition spokesperson being called second in the debate. I move an amendment before. No, we're not. Or oh, does somebody want to leave? And I'm determined to finish. Before a minister was called to speak in the debate in the circumstances. However, no government amendment has been tabled. I should also inform that the Clerk of the House will be placing in the library. A letter to me about today's proceedings. I have asked for that letter to be made available in the vote office as soon as possible. Finally, I should tell the House that, in my opinion, the operation of Standing Order No. 31, which comes the way amendments to the Opposition Day motions are dealt with, reflects an outdated approach. <laughs> Which restricts order, order. Oh, you'll be going and not be voting. Well, that's the first one to leave then. If you want to, do it. No, then. Firstly, I should tell the House, in my opinion, the operation of standing order, which governs the way amendments, opposition motions are dealt with, reflects an outdated approach, which restricts the operations which can put the House, it is my intention to ask the Procedure Committee to consider the operation. I now call Brendan O'Hara to move the motion.